Hey everyone, it's Bethany. After so many months of not doing favorites videos, I am here to bring you an October favorites. I'm so happy to be bringing these back to my channel. I know that a lot of you have been wanting me to bring them back and have been curious to see like what my monthly favorites are and my project pans have just kind of been consuming me. So I'm definitely going to make this a you know priority to be doing these monthly and I have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to start out with some kind of skincare. In my uh, last tutorials I had mentioned that I was really struggling with my my skin and acne and it was very apparent in that video I had a lot of breakouts and I was talking about I was trying a product called Rodan Fields and I was trying their acne like set and I have a couple friends that have been using it and they have just fallen in love with it their skin looks amazing and for some reason I just was not having a good reaction to it so I returned it while I had bought that Set, Matt decided that he wanted to find like affordable dupes for that skincare because he was just like how much are you spending on skincare? He just thought it was crazy. So we had actually gone to Walgreens and he looked at all of the ingredients and he found products that were very, very similar to the ones that I had purchased from Rodan Fields. And he was using that skincare line and his skin was doing really well and I was doing the Rodan Fields and my skin was not doing well. And I think there probably just was something extra in the Rodan Fields that just did not work with my skin because the product that I have here today is very similar to the one that the Rodan's Field had. So I'm going to talk about this product which really has helped my skin. I let my skin just kind of have a break after I stopped with that routine. I really just stuck to my Witch Hazel, a very light moisturizer, my um, Purity Philosophy uh, cleanser, and like didn't do anything just to kind of let my skin have a break. And then I started doing this. This is the Acne Free Severe Maximum Strength Terminator 10 Advanced 10% Microbenzoyl Peroxide. This is an acne spot treatment and redness control. So what I do is about twice a week, so every about three or four days, I apply just a really light coat of this on my skin. I usually moisturize first and then so I can have like a protective layer and then I put on this and my skin has been doing amazing. I'm like so happy. I still have a lot of scarring that I need to work on now, but this really helped just clear everything out, dry everything up, and so now I have kind of a blank canvas to kind of be working on. So I'm so happy about this product, and my husband has like a I told you so type of moment too. And when I first started it though, I was just like so fed up with my skin that I used it like three days in a row, and I like went crazy and my skin dried up I like to couldn't even recognize the like texture of my skin anymore it was so dry and flaky it was gross but that was just because I was impatient and so now that I've just been doing it every few days it hasn't done that at all but to save my dry skin I was using this product this I think Candy Johnson um, I saw one of her videos she suggested this it's a shea moisture raw shea chamomile and argan oil baby head to toe ointment and has frank Frankincense and mirth, and it's a petroleum jelly alternative. It's calm and comfort. This is geared towards like babies, um, but you can use it obviously as an adult. It doesn't matter. It just means that it's really you know soothing and natural, and it's good. So you can apply it to your lips, your cheeks, your legs, everything. So it kind of can go all over the place. And I use this a few times a day, and it really helps speed up the process to getting my skin back to its normal texture. So this is a lifesaver so happy that I had this combination. Another skincare product really quickly is the Simple. This is the Cleansing Micellar Water. This is supposed to be very similar to the Bioderma and I've already used obviously more than half of it. I really really like it. The Bioderma is fantastic but it's really pricey. I love my Witch Hazel. That's amazing. It's super cheap um, but this is kind of in the middle where it's got like that oily kind of texture to it so when um, you are trying to get rid of makeup and any residue do, it really helps to do that and to do that without any kind of tugging whereas my witch hazel does this but I do notice that this gets rid of more makeup and more residue than my witch hazel so really love this product and I would find it kind of like a dupe to the bioderma one let's go to some fashion stuff and then we'll get to makeup and nails so these shirts have been my life <laughs> the last month I actually these are brand new ones because I ordered like six online because I'm obsessed these are from Target they are the um, drapey tea 
and they have like the micro modal or something like that texture to it so it's so soft so squinchy I got size medium which if you want something to be tight fitting I would go a size below what you normally get I usually get a medium so if I wanted something close fitting I would get a small um, but I wanted it to be drapey and comfy and so I got the v-neck and I got the like scoop neck and they have like little um, pocket tees and I'm addicted to these they had a sale on Target um, if you bought three you got 30% so they're normally $12 but because of that sale it was like about $7.50 or so for each shirt about that much less than $8 so I got a bunch of different colors as soon as they go on sale I'll get another few because there's something that you can dress up or you can dress down you can throw a scarf with it and it just looks really nice it's flattering especially if you're gaining a little bit weight or you're just kind of bloated if it's that time of the month or anything like that so these are amazing I highly suggest them I think who did I see? Um, I have a lot of ideas from YouTubers here that are my favorites. I think it was um, Makeup by Tiffany D who had raved about these. So obsessed, amazing. You need those from Target. And then I've got some boots. These I got from uh, Just Fab. And these are super, super cute. They are really high. They're the ones that go all the way up to the knee. And I got these. I had been interested in Just Fab, and they had a sale where you got a pair of boots for $10 if you joined. So because these were normally like in the 60 plus range, they were, I think, 11 something, and then tax, or not tax, shipping was like $6. So it ended up being like less than $17 for the whole pair of boots which is really fantastic I was a little nervous because you never know about buying like shoes online at least I don't but I got a seven and a half because that's usually the average of what I wear and they fit perfect so I'm really excited about that and then another <laughs> another obsession this has been over the last few months has been hoop earrings I've been addicted this has been um, definitely a Jaclyn Hill inspiration I used to wear hoops back in the day and then I just kind of forgot about them and so I just see her always wearing them and I've been watching a lot of um, Gypsy Sisters which I love on I think it's TLC is it TLC maybe not um, but it's just a reality TV show I love reality TV and they wear a lot of beautiful hoops as well and so I got inspired I got some hoops these are all really affordable I got a bunch of like the three packs from Kohl's I got a few from Amazon and then I've got some um, kind of thicker nicer pairs that I got from Express Outlet so been digging those and now to the makeup and nail section of my favorites so a lot of these I've mentioned quite a few times in my recent videos in different tutorials in weekly makeup baskets and hauls but I wanted to shout out all these items again because they are my favorites and there's two products that I haven't really talked about first off is my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette I know many of you guys have this or many of you guys have seen about this palette it's just beautiful Lorac has some of the best shadows out there they're just so creamy and pigmented and blend like a dream and I actually really like that they're such small pans because especially being someone who has a really hard time using an eyeshadow it's kind of nice because this looks a little bit more doable for me to actually eventually use this up so I just love that there's so many mattes there's so many shimmers and there's a, such a cool variety of colors in this palette so really been enjoying this and really loving the looks that I've created from this um, palette and then this concealer has been amazing so I'm really trying to use up all of my concealers all of my foundations that I've had for a while and so because of that I've gotten to be able to purchase a couple because I need some concealers and foundations in my life and this one I have heard raved around all of like YouTube and so I decided to pick it up it's a little pricier than I would I normally pay for a concealer I think it's close to $30 but now I know why everyone raves for it it's just so beautiful it's got a really nice light texture to it but it conceals like a dream and it's long lasting it doesn't crease it's great for underneath the eye and for any kind of like concealing of acne or dark spots or anything like that so I love this totally suggest it it is uh, the color for me is in fair neutral and it's just beautiful so this has been like totally a dream come true for me finding that concealer and then I have some lip products these I've talked about over and over and over again the last few weeks these are my essence lipsticks and lip liner I just think these are such 
fantastic lip products. The lip liners are so creamy, they go on beautifully, they are so good by themselves or underneath a lipstick, and I just think for less than $2, they are just such a good find. And then same for the lipsticks, less than $3? Are these close to $2? Um, these are just so pretty, I love them. For nail products, the first thing that I've been obsessed with for the last few months, after I used up my Julep Maven, the quick drying drops, I just was hooked, I needed more. I decided to try the Orly ones. These are by Orly, they're the flash dry, quick dry drops. And I don't know what I was doing with my life before having a product like this. It's so nice. You put your top coat on, let them dry for, you know, a minute or two, and then you put these on top. It has a nice just little um, dropper on there, and you just drop a drop or two onto your nails. And after a couple minutes, they're more shiny, they bring out the color, and they're totally dry. It's insane. Like obviously if you were to smack it against like a wall or something you would get an indent but you can kind of just go with your normal life again instead of having to just be so concerned about your nail polish. It's amazing. I will always have quick dry drops. I've used this product for months and there's hardly a dent in it so it lasts a really long time. I think it was about eight to ten dollars so nothing crazy too in a lot of places like Ulta and stuff have a buy one get one half off so you can always try those products then. Last but not least is like the gel without the UV lights phase that I've been going through and so two brands um, I just have one polish here this is the Essence gel nail again under two dollars this is about three fifty I think for the top coat and the base coat beautiful colors it really lasts a while on your nails I'd say you go about four or five days without any chipping which for me is beautiful because then I want to change the nail color anyway after that and then the Sally Hansen miracle gel really love this combination as well does a great job of giving you a long lasting manicure you have the gel top coat and then this is one of my favorite colors that I've gotten I only have three um, but this is totally yours and it's just a beautiful your nails but better kind of nudes so those are all of my favorites for the month of October there was a ton a lot of variety from different types of you know sections we had beauty skincare makeup obviously so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, favorites video I really excited about bringing these back to my channel and having those monthly favorites because there are a lot of things that I use over the month that I don't get to chat with you guys about especially when it comes to like fashion or skincare hair care that kind of stuff I usually focus on the makeup stuff so this gives me an opportunity to do that I hope you guys will subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in my next videos bye